The SEC game of the week is back at Bama for a top 25 matchup between the Crimson Tide and the Razorbacks. For Alabama, the stakes are clear. Win Saturday, and they punch their ticket to the SEC championship game against the top-ranked Georgia Bulldogs. And while Alabama continues to ride the hot hand of Heisman Trophy contender Bryce Young, Nick Saban trying to keep the focus on the present. It's our last game in Bryant-Denny Stadium. That's been a great atmosphere to play in, and it's certainly needed to be that way for this game. And Obama is a 20-point favorite. Arkansas is on the rise under head coach Sam Pittman, and they have a head-to-head -head win against Texas A&M, the only team to beat Alabama this season. A win Saturday would not only shake up the playoff race, it would put the Hogs in position for a New Year's Six Bowl. I was really proud of our guys being down at half, coming back. It wasn't pretty, but when that ball went through the uprights, it was one of the prettiest things I'd ever seen. But it has been a long time since Arkansas beat Alabama, pre-Nick Saban times back in 2006 when Mike Shula was the head coach in Tuscaloosa. It's the SEC Game of the Week between Arkansas and Alabama, Saturday, 3.30 Eastern on CBS. Alabama 14-0 against Arkansas under Nick Saban. Past two seasons, Alabama has outscored Arkansas 100-10. Absolute dominated the Razorbacks. And for more, let's welcome in CBS Sports reporter Jamie Erdahl, who joins us from Tuscaloosa. You spoke with both Tide head coach Nick Saban and Razorbacks head coach Sam Pittman. What was your takeaway from your conversations with both of them? Well, how about we have to start changing those graphics ever since Nick Saban finally lost to one of his assistants, how it was all 23-0, 24-0. Now we just have to go specifically against Arkansas. Nick Saban has been incredibly dominant. Hey, it's a win's a win if you ask Nick Saban. But uh, what you said at the beginning of this segment rings so true if when talking to Nick Saban today, and that is, you know, be where your feet are. And, and it's very easy for everyone surrounding this Alabama team right now to talk about the SEC championship. But in that room today with him and his assistants and his players, it was all about facing Arkansas. And I actually think what Saban is particularly turning tuning into right now is the fact that Arkansas, they laid an egg against Georgia a couple of weeks ago. And Sam Pittman admitted that that team was embarrassed. It almost goes against what Alabama wanted to be facing this weekend. The fact that Arkansas did so poorly against Georgia, they fixed a couple things and they know what to look for now against such a tough team in Alabama. I think it makes, I think Nick Saban wants to just pay attention to how challenging this opponent can be this weekend. You know, Alabama struggled this season so far against a team that may have a more mobile quarterback than others, and that's what K.J. Jefferson has. So I think Saban just wants to continue to see this defense improve as they get closer and closer towards the SEC championship game. Of course, they have some wins ahead of them that they have to take care of before they get there. But in speaking with him, you know, he, as you mentioned, is the final home game. It is senior night for a lot of the, for 15 players in particular, and he always wants to make sure he honors that, but he is truly, you know, a be where your feet are mentality, and he wants to make sure they pay attention to this opponent this weekend. Last week, Heisman favorite Bryce Young picked apart New Mexico State, completed his first 13 pass attempts in the game. He finished 21 of 23 for 270 yards and five touchdowns. His 91% completion percentage, 91%. Ridiculous. Uh, set a school Ridiculous. record for completion percentage. I mean, whenever you start a sentence with 90 in terms of completion percentage, that means you're good. Jamie, what will you mm -hmm. be watching for from the Alabama quarterback? Bill O'Brien, the offensive coordinator for Alabama, cannot say enough good things about this young man. And when you look up the quarterbacks that Bill O'Brien has coached in his tenure, both at the NFL and at the college football level, that is quite the compliment. The fact that he cannot find a single thing to say badly about Bryce Young. He is smart. He is athletic. He is agile. He is a cool cat. And I've been around Alabama at least the last couple years. They've had a couple cool cats at quarterback, all right? Tua Tungavailo was as calm as you get it. Mac Jones just kind of slid into that position, and now look at what he's doing in the NFL. Bryce Young is just the next generation of this, you know, Alabama quarterback situation, which I felt like we didn't have for so long. And now they're just churning out players at this position that are ridiculously talented. And I was able to spend a little bit extra time with Bryce yesterday. We, we played basketball, and 
he he's just a, a guy you want to be around and i think beyond his numbers his success also comes from the fact that his teammates are drawn to him they want to play well with him and for him and he has true command of this team but i think the nation is also watching just how good this kid is at quarterback Alabama and Arkansas clashing in the SEC on CBS Game of the Week. Jamie Erdahl setting up for us and breaking it down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. We'll see you on the sideline on Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks. Great stuff as always to have Jamie joining us here on HQ. Here's how you can watch the game. 3.30 Eastern on CBS on Saturday. Join Brad Nessler, Gary Danielson, and Jamie Erdahl. You can also watch on CBSSports.com on the CBS Sports app and streaming live on Paramount Plus here on HQ. We'll have pregame, halftime, and postgame coverage.